She just likes the bee. Or she doesn't. Who knows? She just likes Lonnie. She likes people for people. Alright. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is broken. Damn it. I would hate when shit like that breaks and you try and fix it and you can't. Ah. Alright, ooh, can we open this? Anything interesting? What's that? Oh, it's toothpaste. Meh. <gasps> Think I can get. Let's see if we can get. Um, where'd that go? No, come back. I want to see if I can get it in the cup. Huh. Dang it! All right, if I get a little closer. Huh. Oh, <laughs> so close. Oh. All right. Uh, let me get a little closer. <gasps> that counts. That counts. All right. What am I doing with my life? All right. Bathroom. Good. Yeah. We're good. All right. Well, then we'll go in here. This is my room? Or what would be my room? Earth, Wind, and Fire, Willie Nelson. America, Jackson's, Jackson Brown, the Pointer Sisters. Alright, so basically the 70s. Alright. Bible. Uh, what's this? Whoop. Is this? What's the picture? Mitten. Oh, a mitten. Mitten, love cat, Caitlin, age five. Yeah, I'm guessing this might be. No, oh, jeez, no. <laughs> it's so much. All right. Yeah. Ooh, videos. What's the Silence of the Lambs? Yes. Bridge on the River. Why? Um, Inside Edition, May twenty fourth. The sound of music. All the President's Men, Butch Cassie and the Sundatch Kid, The Fugitive. Man, I remember recording movies on VHS. Good times, good times. Why are all the, um, electronics missing? You think my sister, like, took all the electronics and is, like, selling them on the black market so she, she and Lonnie can live out their, um, lesbian love affair in Europe? I don't want to be able- I, I don't want to make fun of this, but I'm just speculating. Um... What's that? For men? What's this? After the honeymoon? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Old people. Sex. Lit. It's not that I'm against it. I think everyone should have sex if they want to have sex, but let's not think about it. Uh, yes. Ooh! Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands. <laughs> I'll put you in good hands. Walt Whitman, hey you. Whoop. Alright. What? That door farted. It's eerie. Alright, so this is clearly the parents' bedroom. You know, that kind of sucks that they're right across from the... the her. And I'd be like, yo, I need some space, guys. Alright. What's this? Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Gosh, what is going on? What is going on? This is insane. Are her family, like, broken apart? Ooh, Ghost Hunter Journal. Oh, <laughs> interesting. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. There's ghosts here? How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. Hmm. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. Poured milk from carton and fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Ghost milk. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. Lonnie! Wow, Lonnie! <laughs> I can't talk. Lonnie and I employ a Ouija board as a medium. 
Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises. Recording and signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possibly ectoplasm in the attic. Probably leaky roofs. Sample taken, just in case. Despite, or due to... Uh, due to our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in a successful night. Give us! Oh, I thought there was going to be a journal thing. We were going to get to hear more. I like when the sister talks. It's interesting. Alright, well. <gasps> what did they do? Sam's dark room. Do not enter it if red lights are on. Ooh. I'm entering. What is this? Performance evaluation. Seems good. Great. Oh, we got another um, cassette player. Is there a cassette tape somewhere? I'm sure there is. Halloween show. They're awesome. Misfits are awesome. See you there. D -d 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 don't forget your costume. Ooh. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes, and then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Alright. What's this? Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library, I noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage and it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. I told you guys there was a secret passage! You think I was playing? I wasn't playing! I knew it! In creepy old house is always a secret passage! Oh my god, I have to go see this. We're skipping six. Sweet. Alright, so it's marked. Well, no, down four. That's the secret passage. But yeah, we don't have the key though. Sam! Heavens to Betsy. Where is the cassette player? Hey yo. Oh no, is this just the case? It's always just the case. Always the bride maid. Bridesmaid, never the bride. <laughs> Alright. Mm. Oh. That's creepy. Okay. <laughs> These are cool. These are not like outlets I've seen. Well, not outlets or uh, light switches I've seen before. Oh, we're going in. Let me in. It's locked! Sirs! Did I miss this? I did. So it looks like she wrote a whole story here. Um, you guys can pause the video and read it. There's... The opportunity for each thing. Oh, this is- oh my god! For those of you who, you know, lived in the 90s, do you remember the telephone game? I think they still actually make it, so I guess it's not a big deal. <laughs> um, but you would, like, call boys at the mall, and they'd be like, I've got a crush on you, or I don't. You know, they would just say random shit, and you have to guess who has a crush on you, and then you would call them. It was pretty corny. It was pretty corny. Oh, I remember the stickers like that. Those are sweet. <gasps> what did I not look at this? Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing. I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the kid What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages in their beepers. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. Your drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing though. Haha, ha, I like it. How did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. P 
push right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. <laughs> also, like his secret shame is also his secret shame is he watches 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats and also that he's never watched 90210, but I could see in his eyes he was lying. That's funny. Hey guys, we are continuing. Oh, this is all actually going to be in the same video. I only have a little bit left of this game. So we really um, only need to do the locker combinations. And so I'm going to look at the map for that. Oh god, <laughs> that, that passport picture. My passport picture is horrifying. I would show you guys, but it's like it will haunt you for life. It will really haunt you for life. Um, okay. I, oh, and also I'll have, um, I was going to upload The Sims and uh, Would You Rather today, but I'll push that till tomorrow because a lot of you really wanted to finish this uh, game. And I was like, yes, we need to. It was so good. It's like, I want to know what's up. I want to know what happens. All right. So, um, Sam's room. What is this? Ah! <laughs> I told you! I knew what would happen! It's the Ouija board! Alright, O? Oh, oh, oh! That's the first letter of the locker, probably. Fabulous. A pen? Pfft. Come on now. Ouija board. Creepy. <laughs> and, uh, green note. Hello! Who are you? Oscar. What do you want to come? I'm probably gonna say to come back. Huh. So it was Uncle Oscar who died. This is creepy. It's really creepy. Alright, so we gotta find the other half of that then. Um, hmm. I wonder where that is. Well. Because I'm assuming to get into the attic, we're going to need the key in her room, or that's uh, the key. There's probably. There could be multiple keys in here, so let's make sure we write down zero, because we know it's zero. Oh! <laughs> See? <laughs> See, I started checking the map, and I'm like, oh, well, there's something in one of these rooms. And I was just, like, clicking around, and it scares me every time. I'm sorry if I scared you guys. I know. A lot of you are on edge. You think there's going to be something really scary. This is kind of creepy. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a basement. Is it? No, this is downstairs because... How big is the staircase? Because we were on the second story, so... This is not the basement. What is this? Ooh, Ghost Hunters. Sam and Lonnie's secret. House investigation log. Hidden compartments found. Library upstairs foyer. Alright, good. Now we know where all the secret compartments are. Search continues. So we checked out. We got the one by her room. And then this leads to the library, I guess. And then there's a secret compartment there. And one um, here. Okay. So. Great. Is there like another light? It's really creepy here. Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> For God, so, um, God loved the world, he gave his only son. Okay. Oh, one of, someone was really sad when I threw a Bible on the floor, so I'm gonna try and put that, I, I can't get it on, I'm sorry. I can't see anything. I'm sorry, you guys. If I put a Bible on the floor and it offends you, I'm sorry. Alright. No, but seriously. Okay, so let's, um, the hidden compan- this hidden compartment was, let's see, it is, and we'll probably find one of her other, um, the other little tear of her diary thing is probably why she tore it up so that it would be harder to find. So dad's office, so it's back in the library. Alright, Misfits thing, oh, that's just the show, ooh! At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust. And then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. 
I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. <gasps> Young love. All right, but seriously, we found the locker combination. All right, I told you guys she wants the V. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Dear Mr. Mason, please find and close your original document and typed copy for your records. Um, blah, blah, blur, attorney. Ooh, Oscar Mason. Let me see here. Oh, it's, it's just his will. So it looks like he, um... Did he leave this house to them? Okay, so it looks like this is Oscar's house and he left it to the family. Interesting. Is that all? Um, well, that's all that's in this one. Anything in here? No. And no. Okay, so I really like progressing the story. <laughs> Alright, so we got all those. Um, this is the second one. So we've gotten this. All right. There. Whoop! And here is the other half of the combo. So 0501. Beautiful. You know what? I'm going to read this on my own. So you guys can pause right here if you want to read it. And then pause again right here if you want to read it. So if you didn't read it, I'll give you a short summary. Um, Allegra's like her little character. And then there's the first mate who's a guy. And in that story, like, Amazonians capture the first mate. The first mate turns into a woman, and then Allegra saves the day, and he's like, whoa, whoa, and she's like, <laughs> she's like, yo, back up off my woman. That's the love of my life. So, obviously, um, does that count as a lesbian over, like, I mean, uh, <laughs> who cares? Honestly, I don't care. I think I said this last episode. People is people. So, what was it? 501? 5? Yeah, 510. I guess I could check. Work. I think it was just 501. Yeah, it was. Okay. <gasps> Things. There's... Oh, it's Lonnie. There you go. Lonnie came over today. But everything was... different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Whoa! <laughs> She's getting it! Way to go little fake video game sister you get some all right wow that, that is not the basement <laughs> i don't know why i thought it was it's at the end of the hall silly <laughs> oh yeah this house just goes on forever it's like who knew <gasps> is there a light I get scared in the dark. I never, I've never liked the dark. I can do it now, like to sleep, but like basements, dark basements. That's, that's creepy. That's really creepy. And then last year when we were renting a house, me and Alex, it was out in the middle of the forest and it had huge windows. So at night I would just like run through the the main room 
where you could see all the windows and it was all dark and it just foresty. I was like, oh no, there's murderers. I know it. <laughs> Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the flavorful potatoes, and also it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. <laughs> Very cordially yours, your close friend and confidant, Lonnie D. Uh, a fancy man, quite. <laughs> Did he have a chicken? He did have chicken legs. Sweet. Dear Ms. DeSoto, allow me to take the opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate. Following the aforementioned meal with my parents, your family's Thanksgiving feast was more, the more enjoyable of the two events. I must say one especially appreciated. The first time I spent... Oh, I especially appreciate what am I doing? It does kind of look like a one, so whoa. The time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling tastes and a refined air. Let's do it again so, um, same time next year, shall we? Indeed. Madame Samantha. Alright, cool. Oh, dead. <gasps> Trying. Whoa, Sam plus Lonnie forevers. Ooh, look, it's, this reminds me of Cinderella. This looks like the carriage, the, the carriage of pumpkin, a uh, big pumpkin turns in, well, no, I guess it turns into a pumpkin later on. No, it's a pumpkin first, whatever. And then these are the animals and birds that- It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before, but now when no one else is around, well, you know, so you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Um, yeah, those were the <laughs> Vagina? <laughs> I thought I just read vagina. Holy shit, I was like, wait a minute. I saw vagina. <laughs> There's so much stuff on the menstrual cycle. Uh, cycle. Whoop! Oh, my sister had one of those too. Well, in the game, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I think me and my sister IRL, like me, Kelly, not Ke uh, Caitlin, I think we had those too. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe she just had one. Maybe I'd have one. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, now. <gasps> Wouldn't it be fun to put your face in it and take a picture? I'd do that. It's a lot of books. Alright, let's open the trunk. Oh, thing. Oh, they're gonna get, um, why would you? See, I get those are friendship things, like the, the two hearts broken apart, you put them together, you're together again. But to me, it's like, it symbolizes a broken heart. I don't know. I mean, I know it's not supposed to be that way, but... We need another light. Is there a light? Another light, please? Oh, fine. Whatever. Oh, her mom's citizenship. Where's she from? Does it say? Um, oh, Canada. Okay. That's why she's a forest ranger, because Canadians are like forest people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not true. <laughs> I like to think so, though. Postcard. Ooh, that's cool. Hey, Sam. I'm writing to you from uh, Multnomah Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March, and I don't know if anyone running the school has been to Oregon. But it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh, wait. You are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh, shit. Here you come. Nerds. <laughs> they tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Whoa. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. 
Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Yeah, don't be gay, jeez. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I think it was kind of like, um, that's what, like, that's why she kept repeating stick with the group. Just because she just said, you guys get it. Hopefully you can infer what's going on there. So even though, you know, they told the whole story about the field trip, she kept repeating stick with the group, stick with the group, because she was afraid the other kids were going to find out she's gay. Or I don't know if she's gay or if she's just into a girl right now. I mean, I don't want to, like, put a label on it. I think that's pointless. Um, you should be who, with who you want to be with, whether they have a vagina, a penis. Um, hopefully they're not a cat. <laughs> that's weird guys but stick with the group see what I'm saying Mason's pharmacy changes hands um uh, was well, um oh Oscar Oscar long time assistant okay so it changes hands hands my alright what's in here can I turn it I just want to turn off the water Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't feel we've explored this thoroughly. Okay, here's where we, um, haven't been. So there's a, oh, there's a bathroom down here. Nice. Where is the cassette? Get that playing, Girl Scouts. Boop! Dear Sam, I'm so happy you liked the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell you'd love Mexico. I think probably the native here, uh, oh, the nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on the mystery mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together, out there in the wilderness together, and I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed and I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we're together again. I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, enough about that. Your last letter got to me the day before we start driving back north. We'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Whoa! Whoa! Alright. Um, what is the- oh! They did get the pendant. Nice. Nice. Now where's that key? And then this- it, ooh. What? Oh, look at this. Cool. It's Terry and that's, um, the dad. So this is when he was really young. Oh, well, yeah. So he looked 1963. Wait, 1963? Hmm. Um, huh. Maybe. Just maybe. Please. Oh! Yeah. What at? Whoop! Oscar, return to sender, Mary Greenberg. Oh, that's, that's gonna be fun to read. Dear sister, I write what shall be my last appeal to go unanswered one way or the other. I feel a prisoner, uh, I feel a prisoner uh, as on an island with no jailer, no human soul for commune, commune only. <laughs> my one mind examining itself endlessly, endlessly searching for relief. I'm the year, in the years since transgression, I have sought no absolution, only the forgiveness, um, or only bare forgiveness. I'm good, f in good faith, I have removed myself from all temptation, sacrificed to prove my commitment. However, I can imagine, since mother's passing, I have yearned for nothing more than the acknowledgement I, if of my own kin to be treated as human again. To breathe the air of human spirit once more. By grace of an... Oh, <laughs> oh, by grace, even a wretch like me could be saved. But I do not expect it. If no response is received, I shall henceforth accept my sentence and one day simply cease to be. The brothers love always Oscar. What did happen?
So is this is this morphine? Yeah, it's morphine. Morphine. Is um He must have um been getting high. Oop. That's where we open here. Okay. Oh, it doesn't work. This is scary. <laughs> We're in a dark room. Oh. There's got to be something in here. Yeah. Wait, hold on. We need that open. Orders this month. Order this month. Oh, Brant. Oh, he's an alcoholic too. What's creeping? You guys heard that. It was totally creepy. Whoa! What is this? Is this a roller skate? <gasps> I have one of the I had one of these. Fucking love that. It was bigger than that. It kinda looks like my college dorm room. It was uh it was like a really old building, like really old, like 1900, made in the 1900s. And it had like a, well, I'm sure this was added later, but it had one of those. Maybe it wasn't added later, I don't know, but it's pretty old school. Pretty old school. Oh, here's a, a map. Wow, so this secret doorway here, or the one that's locked, actually has quite a bit of stuff in it. That's crazy. Oh, nice. Samantha got accepted into... Seven, financial aid to cover 75% oh, of the summer. Oh, it's just, I thought she was getting 75% of college. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Oh no. That's depressing. Um, okay. She just wants to use her for her V. <laughs> How dare you! Oh my god, you guys! My game had an error and it closed out, so I gotta redo everything! Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer, so Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. I don't know how I missed that before. I think I last time I just looked at, it, I was just like, "Oh, what's this say?" And I didn't even grab it. So, my bad, guys. But at least we we you know maybe it's a good thing the game froze, so we got to see that. All right, so it looks like this goes upstairs, possibly to the attic or maybe to that secret room. Um, where are we? Yeah, let's just see where we are on the map. We are. Where are we? We're in between uh, the secret area and the normal house. Okay. So. Costumes, skeletons, and devils, cheerleaders from the smells like teen girls. Uh, teen. <laughs> Costumes, skeletons, and devils, cheerleaders from the smells like teen spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. Alright, so smells like teen spirits by Nirvana. Uh, the Psycho House Girl, the coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. 
Cool thing number one, everybody in the hall thinking you don't know, they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral vision. <laughs> I don't know where the... That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage was, were just so loud and real and awesome and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. It's like, um... <gasps> Another cassette. Where's the cassette? Where's the lights? There we go. There's so much. What is this? Dear Miss Greenberry, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed initiative and was well written, but it does not change my mind on this matter. While I understand that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. Um, as to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there's no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began the whole incident in the first place. <gasps> what if she, like... Uh. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. They're making a comic book, it looks like. Girl Justice Now. Well, <laughs> it looks like they like copied that image and then made a magazine out of it, probably. Wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I don't think I can grab it anymore. Well, you guys got the point. You potato chips. Stop leaving half eaten potato chips all over. <gasps> oh my god, I heard something crazy and I was like, what is that? It's my garage door opening at home. I uh, My office is right above the garage. I was like, <gasps> what is going on? It's the ghost. All right, sorry. I don't think you guys could hear that. <gasps> oh my god, there's so much stuff! I like being nosy! Turn on all the lights. What's that? Guardian angels up above bless this house with lots of love. Oh, that's cute. I like it. I want one. What is this? Spanish book. Offer a promotion. Oh, nice. Hey Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She hard, She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away. And then when she is home, she takes out on you like because you're not a member of the family. She knows you? Oh, she knows you won't call her on it. And I'm sorry. I was like, haha, it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? No. That's, that's pretty violent, Lonnie. Jeesh. Oh, wow. There's so much stuff. What's down here? Yeah. Froth. Alright. Let's move along. <gasps> Thing. Tickets to see 
Earth, wind, and fire. So are we, are we in the secret house now? Am I gonna find them in the secret house? Like, yo, if you're uh, naked, just uh, let me know before I come a-knockin'. Because, uh... Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't want to interrupt anything, girls. Sam, this skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico and it was like three bucks. I love it. Merry Christmas. Love you. Or miss you. Whoa. Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> Heart. L. P.S. Treasure it always. Alright, well, let's go in here. This is nice! I want a secret house in my house. Where's the- oh, there it is. Completely missed that. <gasps> Mom's purse. Why is the whole family in the secret house and not the real house? I mean, they are. I got two tickets for Earth, Wind, and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. <sighs> Her taste in music rears its ugly head again, so that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. More fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? What's this? Oh, disciplinary referral. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. What did she distribute? Phone call to students' parents. Probably just... Is this it? Sam, since you refuse to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month for so, uh, from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand that you are going through what we understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom uh, door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Are they hating? I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she rocked. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. <laughs> I like that they're in for one very long phase. <laughs> Man. Parents be hate. What's- is that another pin? The gift? Alright, what's in here? First off, congratulations, Janice. Alright. Just, um, if you want to read that, you can read that. I'm going to read it. Alright. Um... Accidental warrior, don't give up on this honey. Oh, it looks like um, the dad wrote something and then crumpled it up. <gasps> There's so much stuff! What's that? Sam's schedule. Working at Cow Crown Burger. Um, that sucks. Mr. Uh, they've been invited to. Oh, is this a wedding at. Uh, yeah. Maybe they're at the wedding. They've got to be somewhere, and then Sam probably just like ran off with Lonnie to the army, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We might never know. We'll, we'll find out. Um, this is frozen spinach. Be sure to eat your spinach because, um, that's ooh, it's a banana, it's a banana, salmon no like go bananas. 
Okay, <laughs> so I was just gonna stop. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> All right, what's that? Ooh, what's this? Smith raspberry jam, so sensual. Russian dressing. Mm. Ketchup. Cola. You. Well, 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 well. Uh, fuck you, milk. Okay. <laughs> this is close. Wait. Hold on. Just want to make sure. You never know. Uh, nothing good in there. Oops. Where did that go? <laughs> Do you guys see that? Where did it go? Where did it go? Did I get in the garbage can? Where did this house is haunted. I don't know where it went. Is that it? I don't know. Okay. Oh, they need to fix these cabinets. Oh yeah, they need this. This needs, um, this needs to be redone. Yeah. Chips. Alright, cool. Cool stuff. <gasps> Cake mix. Mm. Mm. Alright, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I, I haven't actually had cake in a really long time. Hello? Oh, June. Do we know what date it is? I think I can see on... That's the wrong button. Let's see, boarding pass. Um, June 6th. Okay, so... It's going on June 6th. Anniversary trip. So they're on their anniversary. So that means that uh, Sam was home alone. It's probably why she left all these notes all about because you know, she thought she'd probably be able to clean up before the parents came back and so she's probably just spending time with Lonnie. I would assume since she leaves in July so they're trying to, you know, get it in. <laughs> Let's get it in for the parents to uh, get back. Oh, it's the publisher note to the dad. Whoop. Cool. Oh. Ooh. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary. We will be uh, camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry the kitchen is still... Mm, uh, mid renovation. Never trust a contractor. Four dollars, forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good. Um, okay. Ask me about clown combos. Oh shoot! She threw out her uh, her um, work tag. What's this note? Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have the run of the whole house till you leave. I imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musty allure, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we, sh uh, we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll so show them. Lonnie, you are gross. Never change. <laughs> All right. Bah! These things fly. Like, early- What? <laughs> Earlier, I mean, you throw something and it goes a little- Like, it's like, whoop. Now things are just going. Ooh. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Can I open this? Um. Where's the uh, garage door opener? Is this one you have to manually open yourself? Because uh, I don't play that shit. Yeah. Oh, we'll just uh, continue exploring here. Sure, there's something I've missed. New position. Can we open these? No. Have I been down here? Wait, hold on. Are there secret compartments here? 
No, it doesn't look like it. Wait, wait, what? Lonnie had her going away show with her band so. tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. No. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. No. It's puppy love. Anything here? Oh. I can't get in there. Oh. Button. The slits. Whoop. Are we headed outside? Accidental human. All right, cool. So he's back in print. Cover copy. Oh, I wish I could type. That would be kind of cool. Is there just a pen down there? What's this? Where we'll do it, midnight, June 5th, final preparations are complete. Secret door under stairs. Oh. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest us. ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Oh, this is sad. <gasps> what is that? Attic key? Oh, okay, finally get the attic key. The sunset light in this house. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. <coughs> She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Yo! Are we gonna meet our sister? I feel like I know her so well. All right, let's see. It's really um, it's sad. It's, it's heartbreaking is the right word. What if she was like, boo? <laughs> that would be so horrifying. <sighs> boom, 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 boom. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm like doing that. Um, what's that? Sam, I'll always remember what we had. Stay strong, kick ass. I love you, Lonnie. Oh my god. Kick 
Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic, in Lonnie and my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive, until we find somewhere, for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you guys have a plan? You know you need to make money to be out on the road and living. Damn teenagers. Oh, boy. The game is like... Katie, I'm so sorry. That I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Ah, what a cute little story. And you guys thought it was scary this entire time. Jeez. Told you it was cute. I knew it was cute from the beginning. That was really cool. That was fun. I like games like that. They're um They're a little different like these like you just kind of explore things. It's um it's enjoyable. It's like you get to learn a little story about like either a make-believe character or it could be based off reality or something, but I really enjoy stories like this, so that was pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below!